some facts about Uzbekistan, its history and connections to acts of terror, Central Asian powerhouse Uzbekistan sits in the heart of Central Asia, and for millennia, it was a key conduit for trade along the ancient Silk Road that stretched from China to the Mediterranean. The territory that makes up Uzbekistan today was conquered and incorporated into the Russian Empire during the 19th century. Its rich natural resources made it a prize of the Soviet Union. Authoritarian government Uzbekistan's last communist boss, Islam Karimov, remained at the republic's helm after the breakup of the Soviet Union. The authoritarian Karimov ruled Uzbekistan for more than a quarter century, from 1989 until his death in 2016. During his rule, Uzbek troops killed hundreds of unarmed demonstrators during a 2005 uprising. Thousands of Karimov's political opponents were jailed and some were reportedly boiled to death. Karimov faced strong international criticism for his brutal crackdown on dissent. His successor as president, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, was elected in December 2016 and has gradually moved the country toward liberalization, freeing some political prisoners and easing rigid state controls over the economy. Mirziyoyev sent his condolences to President Donald Trump and offered Uzbekistan's assistance in investigating Tuesday's attack. Radical groups Human rights groups say widespread poverty and the relentless suppression of dissent under Karimov fueled radical Islamic sentiment in Uzbekistan. The outlawed Islamic movement of Uzbekistan has been active in Afghanistan, Syria, and Iraq. The extremist group has a particularly strong presence in northern Afghanistan. Russian President Vladimir Putin earlier this year cited intelligence data indicating that about 4,000 Russian residents and 5,000 citizens of Central Asian nations have joined IS and other extremist groups in Syria. Ethnic violence According to some media reports, the New York bike path suspect, Seyfulo Sephov, lived for some time in Kyrgyzstan, another ex-Soviet nation that borders Uzbekistan and has a sizable ethnic Uzbek minority. In June 2010, the area near the city of OSH in southern Kyrgyzstan where Sephov reportedly lived saw violence between ethnic Kyrgyz and Uzbeks that left at least 470 people dead. Nearly three-quarters of them were ethnic Uzbeks, the violence prompted an exodus of Uzbeks from Kyrgyzstan. Terror attacks Uzbek immigrants have identified as suspects in other extremist attacks this year.